In trying to discover what became of Nefertiti's mummy, they must first construct the chronology of a rich history which spanned over more than 3,500 years the history of ancient Egypt. Claudine and Gilles meet with Egyptologist Vasile Dobreff to place Nefertiti at the heart of the incredible saga. Claudine and Gilles will delve into more history from more than 3,000 years ago into the period of the new Egyptian empire to try to shed light on the fate of Queen Nefertiti. We know that Nefertiti was born in Luxor, Thebes, in antiquity, which was the capital of Egypt. Claudine and Gilles decided to start their research into the mystery of the beautiful Nefertiti. Where is she buried? Why is there no certainty surrounding where her tomb is? Has it been moved? These are questions that our experts will try to answer. Situated in the heart of Egypt, this town is globally known for its monumental temples, for which the entrance was once adorned with two obelisks, one of which can be found today in Place de la Concorde in Paris. Luxor was one of the most important pharaonic capitals. It was here that they found the first traces of this young Egyptian woman who would become Queen Nefertiti. The myth of Nefertiti was really born on December 6, 1912. On that day, in the middle of an Egyptian desert in Amarna, Queen Nefertiti would be seen in the best light. German archaeologist Ludwig Borchardt searched this buried city for 33 years. Among remnants that he found from a sculpture's workshop, he discovered an unexpected treasure, a magnificent bust which revealed the features of Queen Nefertiti in an exceptional condition. This bust is now one of the most popular works in the world, exhibited in News Museum in Berlin. However, rumors circulated quickly regarding its authenticity. In fact, it was suspected that the Germans had put pressure on Borchardt to make a significant discovery in order to justify his very expensive expedition. So, is this bust an imposter? A sculpture created upon Borchardt's request to please his financiers? 